AFC West is one of the closest divisions in the NFL right now. And here to break down Week 13's upcoming matchups, Larry Hartstein, the senior analyst of Sportsline. And Larry, we're getting really into crunch time now. So how's your record holding up? It was a nice Week 12 for me, 6-3 and three at Sportsline.com, up to 52-29 and 29 for the season. And I already have a few picks posted right there, so check them out. And let's start with the Chargers, who dropped four of their last six games following a really strong start to the season. So what's going on there, and can this team bounce back in time for Cincy on Sunday? Yeah, the Chargers were everybody's darlings the first part of the year with Brandon Staley and his aggressiveness on fourth down, and it's all kind of come to a a screeching halt. But I think this is a really good spot for them because Cincinnati is at the top of the market value. They could not have looked any better. Teams coming off blowout wins of more than 30 plus points. Historically, a very poor ATS bet the next week, whereas the Chargers coming off a very down performance. And I think this is a good spot because Austin Eckler should have a monster day. The the Bengals really struggled defending running backs out of the backfield. They have not faced any running back of his caliber catching the ball. I think they keep it close. I'll take the field goal. If it goes up to three and a half or four, I'm definitely taking the Chargers. Up next, the Raiders stun the Cowboys Thanksgiving Day. This was a fun game to watch. In the end, it was a 33-30 to win in overtime despite Las Vegas coming in as huge underdogs. Now they're without Darren Waller for this week's meeting with Washington. So do you like this matchup? It's a great matchup because... The Raiders apparently have figured things out, but now no Darren Waller is a huge loss. They don't really have a lot of other great targets other than Hunter Renfro. And Washington has won three straight since the bye. They're a completely different team. This is going to be a close game. Right now, I'm going to pass on the side of this game. I can't wait to watch it, though, because I think we have two teams that could both make the playoffs. Finally, a division rivalry here. The Kansas City Chiefs and Denver Broncos. KC is starting to look like they're fixing some of those early season problems. Now they're positioned to top this division by a very, very slim margin. The Chiefs have also beat Denver in 11 straight games. But do you really want to lay double digits on this Sunday night game? It's hard to lay double digits against Teddy Bridgewater. He's 19-4 and four against the spread as a road underdog. And even if the Chiefs were to go up by 17 points, he can get you through the back door to at least push the 10-point spread. You know, Denver has a great pass defense or I should say an above average pass defense. And that's what you need when you're facing the Chiefs. The team that beat Denver in this four game win streak was Philly and they ran for 216 yards, five and a half yards of carry. The Chiefs are not set up to do that. So Denver is actually designed well to stop what Kansas City does. And Javante Williams, this running back for Denver is so exciting to watch. Teddy's also got a really good cast of receivers and a good couple good tight ends. I think Denver keeps it close. I'm taking the points. All right, Larry, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And as always, you can check out even more of Larry's picks online right now over on Sportsline. I know you're going to want to. I'm Katie Johnston for CBS Local Sports.